Yeah, now that we've run through the assembling process, now I need to get into the tolerance that I've added on the cards. So now let me separate the model. I'm gonna pick this part here. If I look into that part in the tree, that's the plate and you can see how the GDNT is saved in the part level. So if I turn on the mesh and deviate it, You can see how the mesh is deviating. That's because of the applied tolerances added to that part. So that's the GDNT. And this GDNT can be created in two ways. One, it can be done inside 3DCS using our GDNT function. Or if this part already have embedded GDNT information that was created inside SOLIDWORKS, we can pull that inside 3DCS. So to do that, uh, first let me go ahead and delete this GDNT here. And now if I come back and do a deviation, you can see the mesh is not doing anything. This is because the part is now empty without any tolerance in it. So let's come back and I'll try to show the part GDNT here. So because we're integrated, you can see she's now going to jump out of our workbench and she's going into Creo yeah. and just looking at that, I mean, SolidWorks. <laughs> and, uh, looking at that part by itself in SOLIDWORKS. Yeah, so this GDNT was created using uh, MVD dimension here. I've used these functions to create, a, the, create the GDNT on this part. So you can see these parts have the tied up GDNT. Now, coming back to the assembly, um, I'm just gonna show you the function under update model, which is called update GDNT. So just by clicking this and selecting the part from which you wanna extract the GDNT, it pulls up all that and gives you a message, okay, these many GDNTs was extracted from that particular part. So this can be done either in a part level or from the root. So by selecting the root from the tree here, you can extract all the GDNT you know, for, from all the parts in the assembly in one go. So once I do that, you can see how this GDNT populated back inside this plate. Now, again, if I go ahead and deviate it, You can see how, again, the, the mesh is deviating back with the tolerances that I applied. So now this model have uh, power tolerances and also assembly uh, moves. The next step is I need to check the measurement results for that particular me measurement that I mentioned before. So before you go there, yeah. Priya, uh, at the beginning, you saw this assembly deviating, as Priya mentioned, which was including part variation and your assembly method. Now, and then she drilled down to just the part tolerance, so you can see the part tolerance. And she imported the GDNT from Creo, and the, the, from SolidWorks. And the, the key here is, is we pull from SolidWorks, and then it's in our tree so that we can edit it if we have to change the tolerances. And um, because we want to do tolerance analysis and and modify tolerances. So once it's in our workbench, then we're free to change the tolerance. So Priya just double clicked and went into that position tolerance. And you can see this is the GDNT populated in our workbench. And from here, you can change your GDNT, you can change the tolerance as you're doing what if analysis.